What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Far Rock 22M, aka Infamous Owen, Infamous underscore Owen on IG. Right now, we're doing a little late night riding around Rockaway. I wouldn't even call it late night. It's like 12 o'clock right now. But um, I know a lot of people they want to see what the neighborhood is like. So today we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go by the, one of the biggest projects in Far Rockaway, which is known as Edgemere. But now it's known as Ocean Bay, formerly known as Edgemere, now Ocean Bay. So right now I'm in the 60s, you know what I'm saying? I just had to handle a little business over here. So we're going to drive from B69 to Edgemere. I'm going to try to take you all around real quick, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got much footage on this thing. I got like 12 minutes on there. I got to delete some of the stuff off of my phone, but let's get into it. So um, I'm going to reverse the camera and, you know, I'm going to show the front of the car right now. All right. And turn the slide off so yeah wish i could play some music right now you know what i'm saying but i don't want to get flagged you know some of y'all that got talent man send me some music man you know something that's not registered on itunes and stuff like that so i don't get flagged you know give me some unreleased music man something hot that i could bump to you know what i'm saying give some good background music man when i do these type of videos so we way back in the 60s man this is B69. You know, you gotta walk like probably like a quarter mile back here or half a mile just to get to the end. So right now we approach a B channel drive. You know, I hope everything is good. I hope that I can see the uh, footage clear and stuff like that. So we're going down B channel drive. We in the 60s. Now I'm not gonna lie, the 60s is a big community. A very big community in Far Rockaway. Not to be confused with the 60s in California. You know, this is like the 60s from B61 or B60 if all the way to 69th. It's a big community. It's probably one of the biggest communities in Rockaway if you want to consider them whole. You know what I'm saying? They 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 bigger than the 20s, bigger than the 30s, you know. I mean, they probably got more residents than any project. The 60s is a very big community. You know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do when we get to Edgemere, we're gonna go in on 58th side. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna try to take y'all around to 54th and the back around on 51st Street. I'm gonna try to do a video like this for um every uh complex. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we start getting some interviews from people in these neighborhoods, man. That could definitely tell us what's going on, navigate us through. You know what I'm saying? I've been in Far Rockaway all my life, so you know I've been in every house, every every complex, every housing complex. You know this is nothing new to me, but I would like to give some, you know, insight from the people that's from these neighborhoods, so they could tell you a little bit more. I'm gonna pause it because you know I'm at the light right now. Okay, so we're on 59th Street right now. What you see on my right side is uh, Nordak. This is a co-op. You know private uh, apartments but the thing about it is too it's, it's a gated neighborhood but you got some people that come out of know that crazy too because everything up here is just all in one setting so it don't matter where you're from all right so right now we're at Edgemere aka Ocean Bay so for those that know this is probably the biggest project in Far Rockaway it holds the most residents you know what I'm saying I'm gonna drive up to the double building you know what I'm saying this is the double building on 58 you know if you knew if you listen to dead eye and all of that back in the days this is where he was from this is what the building he repped you know what I'm saying 58 click clack gang you know what I'm saying so a lot of stuff go down in these buildings man you know what I'm saying these buildings ain't got no names for nothing so you know see something real quick yeah so this is what it looked like over here it's a tall building you know what I'm saying and that's why they call it a double building because they have two addresses you know, this is not the only double building here. Let me see. I can't even get in here. That's property. That's crazy. What project building ain't got the door? I can't even pull that open. So, walk back out. Yeah. So, this is 58th Street. 
Alright. No. We're gonna go around to Beach 54th Street. You know, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, this project got a lot of history, man. Um, you know, at one point there was uh there was a coup, a few gangs in here. Um Back in the days, they had a lot of bloods in here. I don't know what the politics are now. I'm sure they probably still do. Um, but I remember that at one point, one side of Edgemere was a, was bloods, which is this side, and the other side was more the uh, the Crip side. Edgemere is a big project, man. They probably got like thirty something buildings here. So. Now we're coming up on Beach 54th Street. Now, this is what separates both the houses, you know, both the, the sides. This right here is the parting of the Red Sea. All right, so you notice that you got two double buildings on one side. Over here, you got a double building. See if I can get in there. All right, they got a double building here, and you know this side of Edgemere, you know, like in, in Edgemere, they got all kind of names for these buildings back in the days. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on now. I'm sure they don't go by these names no more, but you know they had um on one side of Edgemere, the other side they got the Vietnam building. They had the Regulator building. You know um. You know, double buildings, all these buildings, they got history, man. You know, you got a lot of uh, well-known gangsters that came out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be sitting here naming everybody. If you know, you know. If you don't know, we'll do an interview. <laughs> all right. So, this is 54th Street. This is the other double building my homegirl lived in. I've got a lot of shit going on. So, as you can see. And, uh... I'm gonna come around on Beach 51st. Now, across the street, that complex, you know, over here, you know, down there, that's Auburn, or which is known as uh, still Ocean Bay. You know, they merged it together back in the days, but one project used to be Auburn, which is across the street, and this used to be Edgemere. Uh, housing decided to combine both of them and give them the same name. So now they both, uh, which I'm gonna call it uh, Ocean Bay instead of Edgemere Auburn. All right, so I'm about to wrap it up in a second. And this is Beach 51st Street. This is where Edgemere starts, if you don't know. So Edgemere runs from Beach 51st to Beach 58th Street. Uh, where you're looking at on the, on the right, that's where Peninsula Hospital used to be. No, thank you, mister, for letting me turn. All right, so this is the 51st side. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me get out and show you a better view. Okay. Yeah. So, this is a better view. You know. I just got out the car, got back in the car real quick. Um, so we we're about to turn right now. We we're about to turn on Almeda, aka Wow Meter. That's what they used to call it back in the days. Some people still call it that, and you know, Wow Meter it, it explains itself. Man, <laughs> you know, coming back here is it's dangerous. Let me tell you something, man. A lot of people can't do this. A lot of people can't come through these hoods. A lot of people can't really be out here like that. So, oh man, I wish I could show you better. All right, so here we go. All right. So, I turn this thing as much as I can. So, yeah, this is uh, Beach 51st and Beach 51st all the way to Beach 54th. I'm about to make another turn. 
on Beach 54th again. So you just see like, you know, this this project got a few sides. It's not Queens it's not Queensbridge big, but you know what I'm saying? It definitely got its residents, it definitely got a population. So I show y'all curious. You know, y'all curious about what goes on and what these neighborhoods look like. I'm here to show you. You know, hopefully uh, we'll get somebody out here who want to do an interview, who want to talk about the neighborhood, uh, old or young, it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I like the history lessons on everything. There's a lot of people, a lot of things I probably still don't know about what goes on. And a lot of people I don't know about, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't raised over in this area. You know, when you come up to certain areas, when you in this area and you from Mod Avenue, that's how they call it. You know, it's different stories. It's a different world. You know what I'm saying? Far Rockaway is small, but it's a big community. You know what I'm saying? And every community has a story and everybody has a story. And every neighborhood is different. You know what I'm saying? Even the, down to the mentality, the way people think, the way people act is very different. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going to wrap it up. Probably got like less than a minute left. So I'm going to, you know, put this out here for y'all. And y'all enjoy. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, man. Take it easy, y'all.